All seems too good to be true. We should head to their control room. Maybe there we'll be able to learn something about them. Agreed, but perhaps they already know we're here. It's probably good to know that civilization is advanced and we have some kind of surveillance system. Gotta head this up the engine room. Move fast, there isn't much. Ooh. Steve! I trust this isn't to show you what I is it? Anguilla will see you now. And who's Anguilla? Maybe you want to put an umbrella? Um, so, uh, I've done a lot of history, you know, you know, around the world and that. I haven't really done much on Scotland, though, so, um, what do you reckon about this whole Loch, Loch Ness Monster thing? Do you reckon they'll ever find out what it is? Well, they drained it twice. I mean, the drought of the end of the 21st century, so they know. Well, uh, yeah, of course. Um, I was in the um, I was in Greece uh, studying the Acropolis at the time, so um, I, I kind of didn't notice it, I guess. Do you think they'll be okay? Well, I don't know. I suspect so. Steve's on the case. You say you have knowledge of this race. You are no different to the others of your planet. Now, you see, that is where you are wrong. And many other people, in fact. I am a Melostone from the planet Rubart. Don't ask me directions, I can barely remember the way myself. And yes, I have an extensive knowledge of Earth's history. My sister is a historian, you know. I'm sure she'll be more than happy to help you. And now, you are your life is spared for the time being. If he is to die. Ah! Okay, okay. I'll cooperate. I want nothing from you. Your race is brittle. You have crumbled before the Terrican army. What I've come for is rightly asked, has been lost for many millennia. I've lost something as well. My watch. Have you seen it? If you'll excuse me for a moment, I'll just backtrack. You will show respect for Anguilla, leader of the Terrican mercenaries. You are bothered by the loss of such a worthless item. I find an attribute irrelevant. The Terrican has ruled the galaxy without such need of irrelevancies. You can only cloud judgement. Our home world is dying and we need stability every fall. Earth is capable of sustaining various life forms, and that is what we need. We will dream it of the resources you have neglected and take back the Claxton. Who or what is a Claxton? He's naive, the Claxton. I trust you are. It is one of the oldest known descendants of our people. It lives in the waters of our planet. When our planet was destroyed, it found its way to Earth. Nessie! Could well be. Then you have lied to Anguilla. No, Anguilla, we're unsure about what you meant. We too have a legendary creature that lives in a lake a few miles from here. Yes, Master. <laughs> what do you say, Master? Okay, how about now? What is this? Hmm, it should, could be some kind of space food. Looks to me like a communicator and a broker one of that. I hope you're going Who to... Who were you contacting? Tell me or I'll make sure your race squirms in pain. Sorry, Anguilla. Love to stay in chat. Best be off, though. Ta-ta! Destroy them, their wild nest supplies. Let their bodies rot in lands they have lost. I will not be defeated. Ready the ship to have the Claxton brought before me for inspection. Robo, don't you dare let me hear you talking like that to me again. Otherwise I won't be installing any more of these discs that you like. Got it? Right, what's the news on the Terrican ships? Master, their ship has morphed and has entered Loch Ness. So, the Claxton is their Nessie then. I was right. Robo, your first task is to hack into the computer mainframe and try and instigate some kind of self-detonation device. Master, the computer system may backlash and affect my circuitry as I am unfamiliar with it. Keep trying, Robo! Let me get this straight. You've just hacked into their computer system and now you're going to blow up the ship. And using our firebusters, we could place a circle of fire over the area occupied by the Terrakins. Couldn't you get the flame to move inwards, killing them as it goes? Smashing idea, Simon! Robo, do as he says! Yes, Master! Great, now transport us back to the others. What are you doing up there? Robo gets it wrong sometimes. Malfunctions and all that. Oh, Steve, you're okay. Does it not surprise you, Emma? Our little problem of invading alien race is being resolved. Emma, what's the news? Well, she was fine, and then she started acting as though she was possessed by something. Steve? I won't lie to you, Simon. I had hoped we'd learn more from the Terrigans than we did. As it stands, I don't know any means we could save Callie. But, Steve, we, we must uh, uh, I know, Simon, but without knowledge, nothing is possible. Target within range, Commander. It has been too long without guidance from its own race. 
Activating stabilizers. Claxton ready for capture. Have the Claxton brought before me for inspection. You will not obey members of your own race, you disobedient creature. Increase power. The Claxton will obey to Anguilla. No, I would not be ruled by primitive species. Three point acros to detonation. What? You answer me. What is happening? Someone has activated our self detonator. Fire and wait. The ship will explode. No, our mission is not yet complete. I must take the Claxton as my trophy of birth. Airlocks open. Manual shutdown initiated. The Terracoons will rule again. 1.7 acros to detonation. I am not through with this planet. Or you, Stephen Brown. You and me, Tanguela, again. Escape pod ready to depart. I agree, Liz. Where is he? I have an idea. Look, thanks for your help. Goodbye. Goodbye. is dead, Jacob's lost all his possessions and livelihood, most of... And what? Having far too many emotions gets you in too much trouble, Emma. A lesson can be learned from this, Emma. Don't get attached to people who are more than likely to leave you. You lose concentration, it makes you feel bad, and besides, what is one life compared to millions? Lizzie? He's right, Emma. Now, Robo, what are you going to do about this? No, then, Robo. Do your stuff. Don't waste his batteries. And another thing, you two, what with all this bickering earlier, I really cannot fathom why you just keep... Emma, this could be a problem. 